There's a lot of debate whether violent games can cause people to commit violent crimes. While there is some truth that mentally unstable people may be influenced by violent video games, for the mass majority they are nothing more than pure entertainment. However, even non-violent games can cause some people to become killers. In this list, we'll be showing you 5 shocking killings inspired by video games. Number 5. Grand Theft Auto 4 Allowing a minor to play a game like Grand Theft Auto isn't a good thing. The game is certainly only for adults or at least mature minds who understand that it is just a game and can draw the line from the game world to the reality. In September 2013, Marie Smothers, age 87, was shot dead in the comfort of her own home. The culprit was her 80-year-old grandson who played GTA 4 a lot. Psychologists and detectives say that the violent Rockstar video game is to blame. The way we see it is no 80-year-old should ever be allowed to play a game like GTA, and if there are any firearms in the house they should be locked away out of child's reach at all times. Overexposing a young fragile mind to excessive violence is a recipe for disaster. It desensitizes the child to violence, a common trait found in many serial killers and violent murderers who were exposed to a lot of violence at a very young age. Number 4. Dota in February of 2014, an 11-year-old boy in the Philippines was stabbed to death by a 16-year-old male allegedly due to the hacking of an online Dota account. The victim was found in a construction site behind his home with 40 stab wounds. The 16-year-old denied any involvement and or association with the victim, but was allegedly found with bloody clothes and drops of blood were found leading to his home. While the Dota video game was initially blamed for the murder, no concrete evidence was found to support that allegation. This case is really no different to someone killing someone for jacking their iPhone or hacking into their computer. The 16-year-old was since put into a Philippines Department of Social Welfare. Number 3. Slenderman Slender Man is a PC survival horror game in which you wander through the woods and find cryptic and frightening notes, all while trying to avoid a tall, slender, very creepy looking man in a black suit who kills you if he catches you. On May 31st, 2014, Peyton Leutner, aged 12, was stabbed 19 times and left to die in the middle of the woods. Miraculously, she survived the stabbing and somehow made her way to a path where a passing bicyclist found her alive. However, the most horrifying thing about the case was its two culprits. Two of Peyton's classmates and girls she thought were her friends, Morgan Geyser, age 12, and Anissa Villa, age 13. Geyser and Villa somehow believed that Slenderman was real and would harm their families unless they paid tribute to him, and unfortunately, Peyton Leutner was their attempted sacrifice. The two planned to kill Leutner at the night of Geyser's birthday party, but backed out at the last minute and decided to kill her the next morning during a game of hide and seek in the woods. They are now on the verge of being tried as adults for attempted first degree murder. Number 2. Ghost Recon Back in 2008, Tyrone Spellman, aged 28, beat his 17-month-old daughter to death, caving in her skull. Spellman was said to be playing Ghost Recon at the time of the incident. His infant daughter somehow knocked his Xbox console to the ground, breaking it, which caused Spellman to enter a fit of rage that ended in his child's death. Spellman was characterized as obsessed with video games, allegedly playing for six to seven hours straight at a time. Spellman, who fled the house after his murder, allegedly said he snapped because he was worried that his daughter had broken his brother's $600 console and he didn't have any means to pay the money back. Spellman was later convicted and sentenced to 47 Seven years in prison. Number 1. Farmville When an adult kills, you can't blame a video game, as they are an adult and responsible for their own actions. Alexandra Tobias, age 22, killed her own three-month-old baby boy back in January 2010 after he interrupted her game of Farmville. Tobias told police that she was playing Farmville when her baby wouldn't stop crying. Frustrated, she began to shake the baby repeatedly. Allegedly, the baby was hit on the head during this incident. Tobias called 911 after her child stopped breathing, and doctors found head injuries as well as a broken leg on the baby, who died due to his injuries. At first, Tobias blamed the child's injuries on the dog, saying it knocked her child off the couch. 
However, after confessing, Tobias was later sentenced to 50 years in prison for the offence. Thank you for watching and if you have a video idea, why not leave a comment below and if we make it, we'll give you a big shout out. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome daily lists of all things 5. This is all 5 and until next time, feed your mind.